first and foremost, let's keep the most high above everything. Can I get y'all to like, comment, subscribe on the, uh, for the algorithm, please? Let's do that for the algorithm. I'm up here grinding. Y'all see me hustling. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? If y'all build my, if y'all like my content, bro, hit that notification bell. Keep getting tuned in. Too, you feel me? He was a yeah, and shout. Yeah, shouts to Mark. And you know why the fuck Lush jumped into that shit? Let's keep why? it real, cause Lush know. Lush asked me, "Hey, Sharp, can you go? Hey, can I get on Soft White Underbelly? Tell Mark I got a story." Ooh. So, what Sharp is saying is Lush Uno, the Lush Pack. The Lushable, Zesty, Lushy, Adam's Personal Meat Puller, Scrotum Stretcher, and Pet Blind Man. Straight up. Straight like that. Mr. Meat Puller. You begging to get on soft white underbelly? You got a story? But then I hear you last they say on oh, no jumper. That's the bottom of the bottom? Let's keep it real? That's the bottom of the bottom. But you wanted to be on the bottom of the bottom. You bitch you. You bitch you. You bitch you. Straight up. Shout out my nigga Boo. Even Lush done said it. Hey man, Sharp had me move to the front of the motherfucking chapter. This man does 4,000 interviews. Might drop fucking 20 of them. This is known facts. How is it now all of a sudden that No Jumper essentially created me? That's why Lush jumped in that shit and said, hold on. No, let's do no, Let's do that. Let's, let's something I can say right here, though. This is all I can say, right? If Sharp is in a certain type of world, cuz, let's keep it real. Listen, if he's in a certain type of world, if he's in this world, quote, let's say uh, the PIMP world, right? Okay, let's say that. He's into this world and he's doing his content in that world. You would not know about him because you, if you're not into that and that content, you would not be sitting with him if you would, if that wouldn't be you in that content, right? Right. So, nigga, sharp. First thing I see him on was soft like underbelly. You know what I'm saying? Soft like underbelly. Then Adam had him on. Then Adam had, was trying to have him yell at females all day, and he wanted to do something different. And Adam said that was stupid. But tell it, but get mad when he when he yell at the females his girl bring around. Let's get the mics up, y'all. Whoa. You got to give Mark his respect now. And if it wasn't for Sharp, a Lush interview wouldn't have existed on Soft White Underbelly. Woo! Lush, you a smart man, bro. You know how to, like, kind of grease him without greasing him. Yeah, so what he said, essentially saying is, Lush, your shit would have been nothing if it was for him. Mmm. Facts. I put under belly, but let's be real. Nothing. He was a random J-Cat on that platform before we took him in and turned him. 
a random J cat, all my interviews over there hit millions. Facts. All my interviews hit millions, my boy. Facts. How you think I was able to come to your shit? Even though, nigga, I didn't know you and you didn't know me. Shit, we linked up through Chet Hanks, nigga. Chet will vouch for this. Let's not act like I was looking for a fucking home. Whoa. Taco shit and Well, we got to get Chet involved. Because he ain't even going to play with you, bro. He going to tell the truth 1,000%. Whoa. Let's not even act like we, we don't know. He said he don't know. He don't know. He don't know, Ch uh, uh, Sharp. Let's, 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 let's remind like him. Like you was into giving handouts, nigga. You wasn't. That's, that's, you that's not like act like I'm to somebody special. And I'm yeah, not mad at you for that. You shouldn't be giving really. handouts to anybody. If anybody can't hold their fucking weight, the only reason I lasted the way that I lasted, even through them years, is because I was able to hold my weight, bro. You know that. My numbers dived. Well, somewhat. My numbers dived. When I stayed after everybody left and all this extra shit came up and people were like, damn, they judge you by the company that you keep, dog. Right. That's fact. I push a real nigga narrative. That's facts, though. That's facts. I push a real. Now, I give you that's facts. He got, he got a lot of scrutiny for hanging around no jumper after the real was left. After the real hyenas left. After the real line pushers left. After the people that was doing their thing for no jumper left. He got a lot of scrutiny from the peoples. From the peoples. You know what I'm saying? From the peoples. That's facts. Real nigga narrative. They didn't feel like I was real for staying. I still rocked through it because I tried to see like what you had. I'm like, bro, I, I get it. People go through this shit. I never really went and dived in your background. I just know we was making some cool bread and it was good. Shit, we was doing what we supposed to do. Like you said, man, you never really had no serious, no real relationship like that. Hell, you even said it. He did say that. I felt like we at least respected each other as like business partners. I mean, I'm at least making that much for the company. I mean, shit, when I made something, you made something. You never gave me really anything out of your pocket. That, listen, 100%. Now, that's what I was getting at, bro. That's why I keep saying a partnership, right? Because it ain't it was, it was not coming in my pocket. It was some shit you created off my channel, yeah, but it was something that you created. Your charisma, your, your likelihood, your, your thing caught the eyes of these people. So you did that, not me. So, Sharp, yes, that's why I've always said we give him the content. This is what Brick Baby doing right now. Brick Baby is handing him the content. Brick Baby is handing the content over. Huh? Take the content. Take the content. Huh. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. And he just taking it. All he's doing is giving you some of the stuff that you earned. It's like a management deal. You earn, and then we, we bust, we, we take some off your stuff, we give you your earnings. Come on. Other than when I did the news. But even then, I was still making some bread, and I'm sure that was some of my bread still coming back to me when you did pay me, right? Right. Am I tripping? Like, it wasn't like you just paid me. And just like, I was just there like, this shit is disappointing. It was all my bread. The majority of it, for sure. You didn't gamble a lot having me there. Hell, I made more not moving here, bro. Shit, I was mad in the first three, four months. I didn't even want to be there no more. I'm like, this shit sucks. Uh. I made more not being here as much. Because you own 100% of that. 
And so when your page go crazy, when you got all them views and them likes up there, it's going right direct to your page. Your bag go directly to your bank account. It's not window down from this person through her, through him, back again, to down to this and back to him, to you. No. It's directly from the bank, YouTube to the bank, to your bank account. And it's yours. It's all yours, Sharp. It's called a hundred percent. One hundred percent. Just being honest, like fuck, it fucked me up. Move, like you think I don't feel it? Shit, I gotta go through it. To a boss, Soft One Underbelly has had a billion fucking guests over the years, a million different pimps. We were the ones who saw his talent and said. We can incubate this. We can grow this. Well, the whole point is soft one under. I had four interviews before I saw you, Adam. They all did millions. They all did millions, my boy. You know, it's crazy because, you know, when I saw him for the first time, I went and did like a drop for him. He ain't telling a lie. Real nigga. He ain't no lies, though. No lies, no lies, no lies. I checked it out. Millions. No lies, no lies, no lies. He was so upset. This man never tried to make any type of like, bro, he don't even make money off his shit. He'll get millions off of it. YouTube flags him all the time. You know, he Whoa. was so upset. Whoa, you see that? Sharp is putting his business up there. He said, I don't know if he's making millions, but YouTube flag him all the time. YouTube out here flagging him all the time. So Adam Bag ain't what Adam Bag saying it is. That, that he felt like, man, I, he's like, you were, your trajectory was set to be something way bigger than staying with No Jumper. And damn, like, I was kind of lost for words. Cause I'm like, fuck, I, you know, shit, that's just my Lord. I always put a full do into anything that I've done. And I ain't done a lot, chat. I get it. I'm not saying I've done a lot in my life. Hell, I never claimed any of that in any of my story. But anything I've ever done, I've done it great. Straight up, especially when I came to No Jumper, like I just wanted to be able to do something great and get bigger, like just reach out to people. People watch my journey, like, you know, different celebrities, all that, like just meeting people. I'm not a stranger when I meet them. Yeah, I'm loyal to a fault. I am. Was having fans all over the world before I even got on No Jumper. Ooh. He said he been having fans. See, when the channel... What y'all think, though? Because a lot of people say, yeah, he, he had stuff going on, but No Jumper really blew him up. He had fans all over the world, but it's like, with your channel, only like 72,000. And it's going crazy right now because of No Jumper beef. They like, they want to, they, they know you split up, so everybody got to tune in over there to see what you saying about Adam. They like the, the beef. You got niggas tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. But so you got to make this, turn this to, to constant revenue. So get them to like, to su subscribe to the channel, everybody, right now, everybody, you all too. We got lost like the IG page. I don't want to say channel, excuse me. When. The page got lost, like, on IG, and, like, they didn't get the No Jumper page back. Like, I still, man, you go back to my church on the Sundays. I was talking to people from all over the world, homie. In the stress of what? Like, I'm not mad at none of these gentlemen that are sitting here. Mad at them for what? All I can do is just speak for me. You're right. It's literally the dredges of society. <laughs> it's like the lowest common denominator that humanity has to offer. Drug addicts. Um, we elevated him. Lush one. <laughs> we elevated him. <laughs> yeah. and we, we helped take him to a different level, I think. And as I helped take you to a different here. level.
What are you talking about? I helped take you to a different level, dog. Shit, I look at content now, I'm like, nigga, for a nigga to get a million in a month on an interview, you're doing great. I'm trying to do fucking a million in an hour. I'm trying. I succeed. Hey, we did it. I've been able to do one million views in an hour. Adam never lost no money fucking with me, dog. He can't say that. Like, he can't say, like, man, look, I super paid this nigga out of my pocket. Um, it wasn't showing up. It wasn't doing anything. Nah, nigga, and the news, shit, you hire everybody for that. Why would not I are running in that? Why not? Y'all cut it off in seven months. It didn't super hurt, especially the money that I was making. I still do good. I'm okay. Like, I'm just like, damn, bro, we were making some real astronomical numbers. And let's be real. When I did that shit with fucking Blue, uh, fucking Blueface and Krishan, uh, they, like, they keep talking that COVID shit that wasn't necessarily during COVID. Now, was it? Stunner Girl wasn't during COVID. Tzatziki, nigga. That girl, hey, I seen it in her face. Good chick. She was looking at me, homie. She even signed the jacket. She traded it with me. Signed it, man, with hearts all over it. Come on, dog. Like, what we really doing? How we gonna put that on me? And I still grinded, I still prevailed, even through the hate. Even through people throwing me curveballs there, bro. Straight up. If I'm still striking gold here and there, don't that show you this shit? You put a little extra pep to its step, it can turn to something grand. I ain't gonna do it by myself though, bro. I'm not doing it. Especially if nigga, we making sure we taking care of business the way we supposed to. Shit, I'm not just gonna do it all on me, bro. I'd rather do that shit for myself, if that's the case. What am I paying for it? At that point, nigga, what am I cutting in? What do I cut no jumper in for? For just the platform? Shit, nigga, I gotta do that myself. I already had that motion. Go back to when I said, nigga, this is back before I even got on no jumper super crazy. Nigga, I just got on my YouTube. I said, I'm gonna issue seven game warrants, some bullshit for Kelpie. Shit did over 300,000 views. This is before I even got super popping on fucking No Jumper, homie. I brought my, instead of going taking my talents to South Beach, I brought my talents right here to Southern California. Ooh. He took his talents to Southern California, and them niggas threw you right on top of your head. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe, audio, slim show, man. Another one like the other one, and we out of here. Peace.